Looking to Phil's work as a composer, do you perceive it as uh, totally unique, or does it does it relate to to other uh, composers uh, where you see uh, parallels between him and others? Is it uniquely British as well? I mean, yes, it comes from a very British school, as you know, and I think there's a for me that whole strand of British contemporary. I don't know what to call it really. It's it's all music. I don't like to pigeonhole it, but. There's a kind of a folk element to it, you know, which I think is a very unique sound. I think there's there's a there's always been a way of trying to define the British jazz, jazz rock, jazz contemporary sound or comp composed sound. I mean, because you know, f but the thing is, there's a lot of blues in there. There's a huge blues for me. It's huge blues elements in a lot of Phil's work, um, and you can hear all his influences there. But there's something about the I mean, there's something about the music which has got a kind of a, a folk element, a modal element to it, um, a reflective element. It's not just about power, it's not just about the lick, you know, it's actually about communicating a concept and an idea, which is, although it's been done musically in, in every, you know, culture, for British jazz, that's a very, you know, as, I mean, if we go all the way back to something like Stan Tracy's Under the Wood, uh, you know, Dylan Thomas. Uh, work, you know, you actually look at that, the sort of the concept, the ideas there, sort of thinking about reflection and vulnerability. Um, that's really interesting in terms of men from a kind of quite a sort of guitar orientated music or in a quite macho music, if you've got a macho perspective, actually thinking about, you know, vulnerability, gentle ideas, sensitivity as well, which British jazz is actually quite good at, but never really talked about, because it's a very male scene. The ideas of sensitivity, reflection, beauty, those ideas, all, for me, for me anyway, all came through in Phil's music, you know, reflection and um, emotion. I know it's a very British idea, I think. Um, it's in other musics, it's there in American music, but I, I'm not American, so I can't really speak on that. But as a British musician, I definitely feel there's tradition. I mean, there's composers like Neil, Neil Yardley and people, Neil Yardley people like that who do compose from a very kind of reflective sense. Um, Mike Westbrook as well. For me, I mean, it doesn't it doesn't sound like Mike Westbrook, but it come, Phil's music comes from that place of using uh, improvisation, jazz vocabulary, jazz material, blues material, to actually evoke a, a different sense, you know, so that's, for me that's where it comes from.